Digital marketing is a requirement for any business to reach their target consumer. There are many tactics and planning methods used. Activity theory is a new tool that can be applied to digital marketing. In order to apply activity theory to a digital marketing plan for a small business, I am using a hypothetical business based on one that I have worked with. They are a nonprofit and academic consultant who is working with two other consultants to create their digital marketing plan. The original Russian model created by Lev Vygotsky, Alexei Leontev, and Sergei Rubinstein comprised of only three components, the object, the subjects, and tools. In the 1980s, the Scandinavians incorporated the rules, subjects, rules, and object, division of labor, subjects, division of labor, and object, and community, community tools and object, community rules and object, community division of labor and object. Once all six components of the activity system are working together, the result is the desired outcome. While activity theory cannot guarantee an outcome, it is a valuable tool to help plan and identify the components involved with individual and overlapping tasks. The object is the activity targeted towards the satisfaction of objectives though the term object is used in its place. Website objectives are abstract concepts as well as measurable outcomes. The following objectives are those that would apply to any small business owner with a limited budget and staff. The first objective is to create a website that is well designed, visually appealing, easily navigable, quick and informative. The second objective is to provide information about the services and products provided as well as resources that are available to the audience. An important objective of the website is to provide trainings, relevant ebooks, and information that fulfills the requirements of the client using the site while generating additional income. Social media is an important and low-cost way to promote a small business. Successful social media campaigns follow a predetermined schedule. While it is alright to add to the schedule, having a consistent presence on social media indicates a solid and engaged business. The three main social media platforms are Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. All serve a unique purpose and it is important to create a valuable presence on all of them. The ability to interact is what makes social media marketing different from traditional marketing. Finding and connecting with people, companies, and influencers relevant to your business is important. Email marketing is considered the cornerstone of digital marketing. Email marketing objectives is to drive traffic to the website where there is information about products and services, new offerings and news relevant to your audience. Email marketing will also increase awareness of the company among the people most interested in its services. Subjects are the people who have an objective that needs to be met. Each individual skill set within the activity system is important to successful outcomes. The owner has experience working as a consultant with government organizations, school systems, and nonprofits on projects ranging from sustainability planning, program evaluation, grant writing assistance, and various consulting services. 
She has a PhD in economics with expertise in funding streams. She has also worked as an educator and activist. She is a New York State certified teacher trainer, which makes her qualified to offer trainings online. With over five years working as a consultant, with similar organizations, she is equipped to work with organizations in many different capacities to suit their needs. The marketing project manager has a background in marketing and project management. She has a Bachelor of Science in marketing and a nearly finished Master's of Science in information design and technology. The combination of this education provides a unique skill set that considers technology and its application within marketing. She also has over eight years' experience within a marketing capacity, including working with nonprofits and a Fortune 500 company. She has managed volunteers all across the U.S. using technology to provide support and training making her adept at using technology to manage the project remotely. The third person in this activity system is the web programmer, who has a Master of Science degree in computer science. They have experience in Drupal, which is important since the trainings that will be created are in a, Dru are in a Drupal-based platform Experience with this coding language is crucial to the success of the project. With the prevalence of mobile devices, familiarity with responsive website design is important to creating the website for this small business. Responsive design will be expanded upon later in this presentation. Tools are both physical and conceptual. Physical tools are used to handle or manipulate objects, and conceptual tools are used to influence behavior in one way or another. On the website, blog posts will be the main content for this company, and the blog posts will be shared via social media and email marketing. Webinars will be used to educate as well as make people more aware of the company. Links to information and other organizations provide additional knowledge for people in the field. Ebooks will be offered quarterly. The first one will be free for new subscribers to the newsletter and then available for sale. Since trainings will be the big money maker, providing them online gives educators more flexibility to fulfill their annual requirements. Tracking their progress is an important part and they can do their trainings on their own time. Social media is a powerful and primarily free tool that is now the go-to with 64% of marketers spending five or more hours per week on social media. Established in 2004, Facebook originated as a social network for college students. It quickly expanded to the general population and now boasts over 500 million users. Twitter was established in 2006 and is unique in that tweets are under 140 characters. As of 2013, there were 175 million users. With just under 90 million users, LinkedIn is smaller than Facebook and Twitter, but it is important for professional networking. Email marketing is the powerhouse of digital marketing tools. The most important component is the quality of your contacts. Choosing a good customer relationship manager is important to cultivate contact lists. Also known as CRM, it allows you to maintain an up-to-date and relevant database, which is the key to successful email campaigns. Rules and regulations are what affect the means by which an activity is carried out. Rules may either be explicit or implicit. An example would be cultural norms that are in place within a particular community. 
For websites, responsive design is based on percentages instead of pixels. This means that the website adapts to screen size and only requires the creation of one website. And this is why it is important for the programmer to have experience with this. Usability is how easy it is to navigate a website. Tips for increased usability are providing meaningful hyperlinks, current and relevant content, appropriate infrastructure, using graphics only to add to the information, and using multimedia carefully. SEO entails making sure that your site is relevant with proper keywords and frequent updates. This area changes frequently and keeping up on industry trends is very important. Social media rules are flexible as you get to pick and choose your platform. Social media is where you want to establish your company as an expert. It is important to be an active participant and interaction is necessary. Whether you post once a week or once a day, it is important to plan how much and what you will be posting. This will ensure that you have a consistent presence, which is important to social media's success. Research recommends tweeting promotional items only 10% of the time. As social media is used more for marketing, statistics and trends are starting to emerge in the field. The ability to ask questions directly to your audience is what makes social media unique. You want to ask questions that engage in order to encourage active participation. You always want to consider the interrelationships among the different social media sites and make sure that there is a synergy. While there is flexibility in this area, a company should set up a set of internal guidelines. Rules regarding email are the strictest. Enforced by the Federal Trade Commission, the CAN spam regulations lay out what you must include in your email to avoid steep fines. One of the most important components of CAN spam is the ability to opt out of receiving promotional emails. As an added layer, setting up an opt-in option for subscribers ensures that they are interested in receiving your email marketing. While using images in an email promotion is not required by law, it is important to a successful campaign. Include a corresponding image to your message will increase its success. Research has shown that the length of the email has an inverse relationship to customer response. This means that the longer the email, the lower the response rate. Division of labor refers to the allocation of responsibilities or each subject's job requirements. For the website, the business owner provides or gives guidelines for content, including the visual and structural design. The marketing ma manager ensures the website creation is progressing on schedule, proofreads content, makes recommendations, and follows industry standards of web design. The programmer focuses on the functionality of the site, making sure that it adheres to usability standards regarding loading speeds, structure, and overall ease of navigation. In social media, since the owner is the industry expert, she takes the lead as to what content is created, what people and companies to follow that are relevant to the industry. The marketing manager then takes the information provided by the owner to increase visibility by engaging with the audience. The programmer ensures that all links on the website for social media are functioning properly and working seamlessly. The owner creates or suggests content for the marketing manager to disseminate in the email campaign. She approves all of the template and design layout changes. 
The marketing manager creates the design of the email newsletter template, edits create, and creates content, and tracks campaign's effectiveness. The programmer makes sure that the CRM is able to receive information from the subscription form and that it connects to the email marketing program. The community is where the activities are analyzed within the social and cultural context of the environment in which the subject operates. Website performance is overseen by communications professionals who are on the front line when dealing with issues. They work with designers and programmers to create industry standards. Website designers are responsible for the look and layout, functionality and usability. With input from communications professionals, they help with creating industry standards. Google is the number one resource when it comes to website rankings. In order to improve website rank, it is important to understand what their algorithms are looking for. Google changes this constantly and keeps web professionals on their toes. Academic research provides answers to people's motivation when using a website. When using social media, it is important to listen to your audience. While you are framing the conversation, the audience drives it. Learning about your audience is important to know where to meet them and the best way to address them. Within social media platforms, there are constantly new games and applications. Paying attention to programmers and startups will help stay on top of industry trends and what the general audience is interested in. For email marketing, analytics drives it, which is based on the audience response. Learning what your audience is responding to in your email campaigns will help shape successful future campaigns. The original objectives result in the anticipated outcome. Each part of the activity system works together with the end goal of yielding positive results. The ones I use are hypothetical, but reasonable and measurable outcomes. By applying activity theory to digital marketing, it is easy to see how certain people's functions and tasks overlap, and who they work together with to reach the end results. Setting goals is important, and using the activity system helps visualize the process by breaking it down to the smallest part. It also keeps everyone on track and makes each person accountable for their part of the activity system. While more popular in social science disciplines, the concept of applying activity theory to business practices, and in particular human-computer interaction, is gaining momentum. As activity theory becomes more known, its applications can be applied to many different business functions, and even on a more granular level within each function. An example of this would be to take the social media aspect of the digital marketing plan and creating an ex a separate activity system for that single component. Thank you for viewing my presentation on the application of activity theory to digital marketing. I have included a link to the corresponding paper for this thesis project.